Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma and I make art videos and if you clicked on this video, either you are subscribed to my channel or you were a fan of Stardew Valley because I am making some Stardew Valley themed artwork. I am making my own version of the character Abigail and if you don't know what Stardew Valley is, it is a video game and you run your own farm. But it's not just that, you can make friendships with the other characters in the game, you can get into a relationship with another character, you can get married and you can have children in the game. It's really fun, I played on my Nintendo Switch and I've had a lot of fun with the game. I'm still playing it, so I thought I would just show my love for Stardew Valley through my art, so that's what I'm doing in today's video. So I'm going to stop talking so you can all enjoy the video. For this piece, I'm working on some Canson illustration paper. I've already done the drawing, so I'm just going in with the inking. And for the inking, I am primarily using my Pentel brush pen. I also use a really fine Copic multiliner to work on the lashes, but most of it is done with the Pentel brush pen. And for this part of it, I need to be aware of my line weight. So to start with, I kind of go over everything with a very similar line thickness. Once that's down, then I go in and decide on the areas that need thicker lines. I generally add thicker lines in areas that are going to be shadowed. That's not always the case for me. I do like to outline my characters in a thicker line overall. Um, I think it's best to work with what you think looks good, but also what makes sense. So areas that are shadowed are generally going to have thicker lines. Um, and once I'm done with the ink work, I then go in with my watercolors. I am using my Pentel brush pen to use my watercolors, and I'm using my PLS watercolors for this. If you don't know what peelless watercolors are, basically they are watercolor uh, compressed onto a piece of cardboard, if that makes sense. You can see them in the background here, um, but if you want to know more about them, I do have a video on how I made my peelless watercolor palette, so I will link that in the video and the description if you want to um, know more about them. Um, but with my peelless watercolors, they are very bright, but sometimes I find it difficult to get them um, quite opaque. So when I'm working with my peelers watercolors, I do like to go over the watercolors with some colored pencils. So here I am using my Faber-Castell polychromos. For this piece, I didn't want the coloured pencils to overpower the watercolour, I wanted them to work well together, so I'm not using a too heavy a hand with the coloured pencils, I'm trying to add, you know, enough to the piece without overpowering the watercolour. When I started this piece, I had no idea what to do for the background. I thought I was just going to leave it blank or just do something really simple, but then I was like, no, I want to add some more Stardew Valley features to it. So I've added in the, um, what do you call them? Bits of wood. I, I can't remember what they're called. Um, and just like a background that is very similar to one that is used in Stardew Valley. I 
I hope you all enjoyed watching the process. If you would like to see me create other artworks featuring other Stardew Valley characters, please let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to do that. I chose Abigail for this one just because she's got purple hair and she seems cool and I feel like we'd be friends. But I'd be happy to try and draw other characters. Um, if you're wondering, in the game I ended up marrying Sebastian because he's the emo kid and of course I go for the emo kid. <laughs> Um, but maybe I will draw my own version of him, who knows, maybe, I don't normally draw guys, but I do occasionally, um, so yeah, let me know if you want me to draw any other characters in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel either, and if you are subscribed, don't forget to, uh, tick that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Anyway, I think that's all from me today, so I will finally show you the finished piece. Thank you for watching and I will see you all next time.